Hi everyone, so today I'm gonna talk about women and yes, March is Women's History Month. It's easy to dismiss the idea that we need a special day, special week, even a month for women. Why is it needed? Where is the men's day, the men's celebration? After all, women can do what they want in some countries. They have the right to vote, they can work what they want, they receive the same education. Everything on the surface seems fair. And actually, that's great that so many women feel they have equal opportunity than men. So let's start with International Women's Day. International Women's Day is a global celebration of the social, economic, cultural, and political achievements of women, and it's celebrated widely around the globe. Raising awareness is only the first step. In order to create an equal world for women, we need policy changes, and we need a lot of it. Of course, policy changes won't be popular with everyone, not even with all women. But the international community is finally starting to see that increasing awareness is just not enough. Let's look at the fact. There is still a lot of work to do, especially when it comes to getting more women into leadership or to stop violence against women. But for the past 20 years, some positive changes have been striking. In education, we have reached a point where girls and boys worldwide are enrolling in primary school at almost equal rates. That is a huge step forward. The next step is secondary school where the gender gap widens again. Unfortunately, violence against women is still a big issue across the world. One in three women still experience physical or sexual violence. For example, in France, every year, between 120 and 150 women die due to domestic violence. In the last 25 years, maternal mortality has dropped by 45%, which is great, but there is still more work to do when you know that 800 women a day die from pregnancy complications, mostly in the developing countries. In terms of leadership, since 1995, the number of women serving in legislatures has nearly doubled. Globally, women earn 24% less than men for doing the exact same work. What? Why is it still important to celebrate women and their achievements? Obviously, there has been a lot of progress, but it's not the same in every country in the world. In countries like Somalia, 98% of women aged between 15 and 49 have experienced female genital mutilation. In Pakistan, the literacy rate for women is 39%, compared to that of men, 67%, is almost double. So it's clear that equality is a distant reality in many countries. Events associated with International Women's Day provide a safe place for women to discuss and take action. Women who never have the chance to share what they experience in a daily basis have for a precious day a forum catered just for them to talk about what they want or what they want to share. International Day will spark this discussion and steer public opinion. We must look back and look forward and remember the struggle women have been through during the past centuries in gaining basic rights that are taken for granted in Western countries and desperately needed in many developing countries. The right to vote, own property, to have an education. All this had to be fought for, battled against the will of those wanting to deny 50% of the population a right they enjoyed without further thought. Finally, International Women's Day is an opportunity to reflect on the work that still needs to be done and remember the many women whose voice go unheard. This is why International Women's Day is still important. It gives otherwise silenced women a voice. And that's a step forward in a good direction. I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So just be curious, be open-minded, be respectful, and be happy. That's the most important in life. Take care.